Hi everyone, this is Eileen and I wanted to do my first YouTube video. Um, this is a Tim Holtz printer's tray configurations that I altered. So it started out with just, excuse the band-aid, I cut myself today. <laughs> um, just these little boxes that fit into a bigger box and um, you can arrange them whichever way you want it. I think I kept it basically the way it came. I just switched these two. I liked having the smaller one in the top and then the main one over here. So, and then I wrapped it in um, Seven Gypsies tissue tape. So I didn't have any of the Tim Holtz ones, so I used Seven Gypsies. And um, I like things to be nice and firm. So, when I was done, I went over the whole thing with matte gel medium. Um, this stuff is really good for collages and it basically holds things down. So, I went over the whole thing with it, so now the tissue tape is, you know, well glued and it's not coming off anywhere at any of the seams or edges, so... Um, I would definitely recommend doing that when you're done with tissue tape because otherwise the glue on it is not very firm. So um, after I did that, I also lined all the little squares and boxes. All of it is lined with the Tim Holtz paper stash, the, um, the lost and found paper stash. Um, I let my husband pick out which paper he wanted because this is actually for his Father's Day present. He um, he has a new job and he needed something to take with him that he could, you know, where he could display his photos and um, this is what I made for him. So, um, and he picked out the Tim Holtz paper. No surprise there, it's more manly and grungy and has, you know, more masculine colors, so. And I love that paper. I've been stashing it for a while, so so that worked well. Um, and then, you know, the corners, I used Tim Holtz metal corners. And over here, just around the edge, I used um, enamel accents from Inksentials. Just, you know do little dots. It's really easy and quick. So um, over here I have cork paper which actually you know I just got a huge roll at AC Moore I think or maybe or Michaels it's just you know really cheap. You can just cut out whatever you need. So I lined that and then I have a little Kane Company metal sign that I it says life's happiest memories are homemade and I used um, Tim Holtz or actually Ranger inks to distress it so that it, you know, looks more antiqued. And I did the same thing here. This one says hope and love. Then um, this is a Tim Holtz grunge board. I ran it through my Sizzix with texture and then I colored it bronze with ink. And then I went over the top with a blue, dark blue here and a red here, just, you know, for a little bit more interest. Just some kids' pictures here, little ones. A picture here, and this is a cane company. You know, it's glittery. It's really cute. <laughs> little bird. Um, uh, the blue flower is Prima. And then the red flower, it's really small. It's so cute. It's from I Am Roses. And then just a couple... Um, crystal beads I found at a, um, a flea market a long time ago. Vintage key. Um, an old frame I had for a long time. Leather, stitched leather frame. I put it on top. See if you can see it goes on top just to make it stand out for a little interest. The photo itself ended here. So I needed something here, and this is an old Kane Company stitched, embroidered remember sign. Over here is a Jolie's Boutique frame, 
it was um, a cheap, you know, plastic gold, which did not go well with this theme. So I just embossed it, he heat embossed it with bronze, put black acrylic on top, rubbed it off. You rub really hard, you get it off the top and it stays in the cracks. So it gives it a nice antique look. And then I put that cameo in there, also Jolie's Boutique. And then I put a little bit of white acrylic on top of the cameo for just, oops, sorry, <laughs> still getting used to camera stuff. So um, Tim Holtz clock and little thingies. And I used um, dimensional dots to pop it out a bit. Prima Flower, Kane Company flower on the bottom, Prima Flower later on top. Another crystal bead, Maya Road wooden button, little um, cute safety pin I had in my stash for a while, um, Prima, another I Am Roses, cute little um, stitched knitted flower, vintage buttons, just a whole bunch of uh, boy stuff, another vintage key, some buttons, Tim Holtz gears. Um, a little, um, this was a grunge board heart that I put some paper on top and a little crystal. Um, I had that for a while. You know, it moves, obviously. An old frame I had, that's me. Oh, I'm sorry again. All right. <laughs> I'll get better at this, trust me. Just bear with me and, um, you know, I plan to do a lot more videos. It's it's fun. Um, I love to shop for scrapbooking stuff, so I'm going to do some haul videos too. Um, I love to watch those. Those are always fun for me. Uh, Webster's Pages cameo, again, Kane Company. All right. Um, well, and this is this little flower and this little flower here and um, that little you know, bling thing is all from Creative Charms. This is again, I Am Roses. Okay, this beautiful birdcage and this beautiful sign are scrap mats, laser cut chipboard. Love their stuff, so gorgeous. Um, I heat embossed it with bronze powder just like I did here. So they kind of look like they're made out of bronze at this point. It's really, 